Hey techies, how are you doing all? Must be fine and learning new things, right? Oracle and Google Cloud announced a partnership that gives customers the choice to combine Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, OCI, and Google Cloud Technologies to help accelerate their application migrations and modernization. Oracle Interconnect for Google Cloud will be initially available for customer onboarding in 11 global regions, allowing customers to deploy general purpose workloads with no cross-cloud data transfer charges. Later this year, a new offering, Oracle Database or Google Cloud, will be available with the highest level of Oracle Database and network performance, along with feature and pricing parity with OCI. Both companies will jointly go to market with Oracle Database Google Cloud, benefiting enterprises globally and across multiple industries, including financial services, healthcare, retail, manufacturing, and more. Oracle Database Google Cloud consists of deploying the latest database services in a Google Cloud data center running on OCI hardware. Customers can now benefit from the most advanced managed service for Oracle Database Oracle. Autonomous Database Customers can further migrate their mission, critical database workloads, to the most advanced platform for Oracle Database and Oracle. Exadata Database Cloud Service. Customers can also run their Oracle databases on Google. Compute Engine. Customers will be able to procure available services directly from Google Marketplace and manage them directly from their Google Cloud Console. Here is step by step demo about service deployment. Hi there. Let's see how easy it is to deploy an Oracle Cloud database service on Google Cloud. You can discover Oracle databases by searching for Oracle from the console, and here it is on our Marketplace. Clicking this would take you through the process of purchasing it, but I've already handled that part. So let's get to the exciting bits that is provisioning. Oracle databases for Oracle and Google Cloud. We will offer two options at launch. You can run the Oracle Exadata database service or you can choose the Oracle Autonomous database service. I'll start off with Exadata and show you how easy it is to set up the infrastructure from the Google Cloud Console. Here I just click the button to create the Exadata infrastructure. Then I need to specify some details like what my instance ID should be and what region I want to run in. And finally, what my machine configuration wants to look like, just like any of our other database services. Then I can click the Create button and there you have it. The integration between Google Cloud and OCI makes it seamless for you to deploy mission critical databases on Exadata database service directly from the Google Cloud Console running in a Google data center. Once this finishes, then I could set up my VM clusters and create the databases. If you'd rather have a simple managed experience though, let me show you how easy it is with Oracle's Autonomous. Database service on Google Cloud. Clicking in, it starts with asking similar details like instance, ID, password, and region. Now we get to the good stuff. I can select what workload configuration I want to use. I like transaction processing best, so I'll go with that. Here we have a few extra configuration options like enabling auto scaling both for compute and separately for storage. Basic backup configuration up to 60 days of retention, networking so that my services can talk to it. Great, set up an administration email for notifications. There's some more advanced options to tune things further, but let's spin it up. By, and there you have it, with just a little configuration and a few clicks, you're up and running on Google Cloud with the best managed service for your Oracle databases. Now you can connect all your applications running on Google Compute or Google Kubernetes Engine to your Oracle databases at Google Cloud. This is the strength of the partnership between Oracle and Google Cloud. Taking a quick look at our instance details, you can see that we also integrate with a monitoring subsystem so you can easily check on the health of your database. Am I CPU bound? Am I running over on storage utilization? All the nitty gritty details that was a pain to see before right there integrated into the Google console and that's it.